you know, in the other uh, big topic that I wanted to cover today on the uh, 11th, March 2023, we're following a Diderot, it's hard to miss, a couple people actually mentioned it on Twitter in terms of the GQ article about Dallas CV, quote unquote, the greatest mushroom of all time, and how they thought, you know, it was a somewhat, they were hoping that Blair Braverman or Quincy, uh, Quincy Mountain or Blair Braverman, you know, who are a uh, couple sort of big social media mushers and have built that Ugly Dogs uh, hashtag and community up that's doing that. I'd give a rod this year, donating some money to the schools and have passed me in the race. Um, you know, we, we tackle that subject matter. And the subject matter is this GQ article is claiming that, you know, Dallas is quote unquote the greatest musher of all time. And it really is something where, I, you know, it, it goes into the a lot of the stuff that Craig Madrid had covered in terms of that drug scandal and Abigail Crowder, who was a mushing candler there, who had uh, allegedly called, you know, the Madaniska animal control because there were some dead puppies there in the CV kennel and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it's just, it's sort of a rambling and incoherent article that just regurgitates a bunch of, uh, what I was saying earlier, I just come back to the wrong, I meant to say it, but I was like, so this is like secondhand information, you know, went to a second, this is from like Abigail Crowder Handler, they went to Craig Mitre, a blogger, that now is going to GQ, you know what I mean? So it's just really the this, this sequence of events there and how many different times people who don't know anything about what they're talking about are going to be regurgitating things, you know, it's just, it's, it's sort of problematic on that front. But then the other thing is just the fact that Dallas is not the greatest dog slaughter ever. You know what I mean? And I look at Dallas and it's like, you know, uh, almost looking at a mirror of a younger my, myself. You know, in other words, we ran our rookie. I did it all at the same time. I ran the Connect 200 with them. Both of those races, we both were running puppy teams. I beat him. You know what I mean? He hasn't raced mid-distance. He raced, he went into Europe and he never won anything. He won the Quest once and he won a dinner on a bunch. He hasn't won Cusco, hasn't won Copper Basin. You know, he never won, he won the Junior. He never won the Connect 200. He hasn't won the Big Lake races. He hasn't won any Fairbanks mid-distance race so you know a greatest dog musher i'd have to give it to lance you know uh the deceased r.i.p who's the honorary musher and i did it all this year and, and you know again nothing against dallas like i said it's like it's me at a younger level the enthusiasm the passion and also just caught in the uh where the business in the, in the personal is kind of you know working for martin it's like you know it's almost like the son of an i did it champion so i empathize i really do but he's not the greatest dog slaughter ever